In this video, we want to take a look at the area of a sector. But we can also use radians to simplify the formula for the area of a sector. So let's just begin here by writing out the formula then for the area of a sector. So area of a sector. So we use A here to represent the area of a sector. This is equal to a half times R squared times phi here. So R here represents the radius. R is the radius here, and phi is the angle measured in radians. Okay. Now, we can easily derive this result here from the um, formula given in GCSE mass for the area of a sector. So, remember here, and you should be familiar with this formula from GCSE mass, A is equal to phi over 360. So phi over 360, and then we times it by pi r squared. And what I can do here now is replace this 360 degrees with two pi radians. In that case, then, what we get here for the area of this sector is phi over 2 pi, and then we times that here by pi r squared. Now we just simplify this here. Well, this pi here would cancel with this pi. So what I get now is phi times r squared, and that's all divided by 2. So a is equal to r squared phi, all divided by 2, and that is the same as a half r squared phi there. Okay, just like we can see here. So that's how we kind of derive that formula there, um, just using the result that you're familiar with from GCSE maths. So finally then, you also need to be familiar with how to find the area of a segment. So let me just quickly draw a quick diagram here. Um, let me just try that again. It won't be perfect here, but let's see if we can get something that looks okay. So let's say we've got this sector here. Okay. So let's just say I draw a segment in here now. So from here to here. And then I shade this region here and let's do that in a different color. Let's do that in orange. Okay. Now let's say we were asked to find the area of the shaded region here. How would we do that? Well, what we do here so I'd have an angle of phi, that's measured in radians, and we'd have a radius here of r and r, okay? So if I want the area of this shaded region here, this orange shaded region here, well, this would simply be the area of the sector. So let's just write this down here. So area of the shaded region. That would be equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So this triangle here, okay? And the area of this triangle here, we just find that by using half AB sine C, okay? So nothing that you haven't seen before, just using results from GCSE maths. Okay, so the area of a sector, we know that here, that formula is given. The area of a triangle, remember that's just a half A, B, sine C. But that's how we'd find the area of a shaded region. And that's quite a common problem that you will see quite a bit um, in your studies for A-level maps. Okay, well there we have it. So that's everything that we need there now for an introduction to the area of a sector. What we're going to do now is just take a look at some practice questions here for the area of a sector. Starting off now with question one here, we can see this sector here. So we've got a radius of 20 centimeters, and we know the angle here is 0.4 radians. And we're asked to find the area of the sector. So let's just begin here by recalling the formula then for the area of a sector. So for the area of a sector,
This is given as a equals half r squared b r. So r here is the radius, that would be 20 in our case. And theta here is this angle, that's 0.4 radians. So just substituting in here appropriately. And what we get here for the area of this sector a, we get a half times r squared, so times that by 20 squared, and then times that by theta here, which is 0.4. We've got a half here, 20 squared is 400, and we times that by 0.4 here. And all you need to do here now is just place this into your calculator here. And if you do this correctly, what you should get then is 80. Now don't forget the units here, so we're looking at area, we're working in centimetres here, so it would be units squared, so if we're working in centimetres we get 80 centimetres squared there. Okay, and there we have it, so that's the solution there to question 1. Then we'll look now at question 2 here again, we can see our sector here, we have a radius of 12 centimetres, and this angle is given as phi. Now we're also given that the area of the sector here is 43.2 centimetres squared, and we're asked to find phi. So again, let's just recall the formula here for the area of a sector. So a is given as a half times r squared times phi. If we know the area of the sector here, we can substitute that in for a here. We've got 43.2 is equal to a half. We know r here, r is 12, so we times it by 12 squared. And then we times it by theta here. So 12 squared is 144. Divide that by 2 here, and we're going to get 72. So what I get here then is 72 theta is equal to 43.2. Obviously, all we want now is just theta here on its own. So we're going to divide both sides here by 72. In that case, then for theta here, we get 43.2. Divided by 72, so 43.2 divided by 72 here, and this gives us 0 0.6 radians there. So we get 0 0.6 radians there for this angle here. So theta, 0 0.6 radians, giving us a solution to question 2. And finally then, if we take a look here at the very last question, question 3, we can see this diagram here, we know the radius is 12 centimetres, and we know this angle here is 0 0.8 radians. Like it says here, the diagram shows a sector of a circle, and we're asked to find the area of the shaded region. We can see the shaded region here at the top. So remember, what we're looking for now is the area of a segment here. In this case here, the area of the shaded region is what we're looking for. Let's just write this down here. And that's going to be equal to the area of the sector here. So the area of the sector minus the area of this triangle here. Okay, area triangle. So let's begin here by finding the area of the sector. So let's just recall the formula then for the area of the sector here. So area of sector. That's given as a equals a half times r squared times phi. In this case here, for the area of the sector, we get a half times r squared, so times that by 12 squared. And then we times that by theta here, which is 0 0.8. So if you put all of that into your calculator here, what you get is 102.4. 102.4. Working in centimetres again, so we get 102.4 centimetres squared there. That's the area of the sector here. So now what we need here is the area of the triangle. Let's do that over here. So area of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle here, again we're looking for A. This is given as a half AB sine C. Okay. In this case here, a is equal to a half. a and b here 
would be the value for the radius. So it's just going to be 12 on both sides here. So it's going to be 12 times 12 or 12 squared. And we times it by sine c, that would be sine of 0.8. Now you do need to be careful here. So what you need to ensure here, before you put this into your calculator here, that your calculator is in radians mode rather than degrees mode. If you're in degrees mode, um, basically you're going to end up with a lot of trouble here. You're not going to get the correct um, solution. So do ensure that your calculator is in radians mode. And if that's the case, what you should get here then for the area, A, is you should get 91.8215. And so on. And that keeps going on for a bit. So obviously that would be centimeters squared as well. So now for the area of the shaded region here, like we said, that would be the area of the sector minus area of the triangle. That would be 102.4. 102.4 minus this 91.8215. 91.8215. So on and so on. And what you should get here then, if we give this now to say one decimal place here, I get 10. 0.6 centimeters squared there. Okay, and that's for the shaded region here at the very top. Okay, and there we have it. So that's our solution there 10.6 centimeters squared. And that's the solution to the very last question, question three. And that's what we can see in the end of this video on finding the area of a sector.